Hello, I'm Ishba Shapi Abdullah, a pharmacy student from University Brunei Darussalam. The topic for this presentation is on over-the-counter medicine attitudes and knowledge among university and college students in Brunei Darussalam. In this presentation, I'll be talking about the introduction, methods, results, discussion, conclusion, and lastly, I will show the references. Introduction. What is self-medication? It is an act where a person can purchase the medications to treat their symptoms without any consultation from a healthcare professional. Globally, inappropriate self-medication with OTC has been increased and recognized as a public concern. A worrying trend reported that misuse of various painkillers, vitamin and sedatives was found among university students. According to the database in Australia, paracetamol is the most frequently used in overdoses with 108% increase in acute liver toxicity. Across Southeast Asia, the self-medication practice with OTC is very, very common, which can be seen in Brunei also. Although Brunei offers free medical treatment and medication, the general public sometimes practices self-medication for minor illness. Most of the time, they purchase OTC according to the knowledge and experience on the effectiveness of the medication. A documented um, Brunei study assessing the use of OTC medicines is lacking, so the younger population, especially those undergoing university or college education, are the primary user of social media that are likely exposed to unverified sources of health information. Also, with the advance of the technology, the internet usage enter into the daily lives of higher education students is rapidly increasing. So the aim of the study was to examine the safe use of OTC by determining the knowledge, attitude, and practices of OTC among the public university and college students in Brunei. Methods. This study was an online survey which was conducted from March to April 2021. So the targeted participants were, Brun were Bruneians or permanent residents of full and part-time students from all faculties in public universities and colleges. So the questionnaire was adapted from a survey conducted by Tesfa Maryam with additional information from US FDA on the OTC medicine for consumer. So the questionnaire was sent to the student's official email address with a reminder of two weeks interval. Our software and Microsoft Excel were used for data analysis. So the pilot test was conducted among 38 students. Results. 335 respondents return a completed questionnaire. The characteristic of the students can be seen in this table. Association of demographic characteristic with level of knowledge. If the p-value is less than 0 0.05, it means there's a significant difference. In this case, the academic degree and the course of study shown a significant difference among the groups with a p-value less than 0 0.05. Attitude. Almost all the respondents indicated a positive attitude towards the use of OTC. Practices. When asked if they have ever experienced adverse effects before, 9.9% have ever experienced it before, while 17% do not know. I also added a question, what did they do after experience the ADR? They either go see a doctor, sleep, or do not do anything. When asked if they have ever taken more than from the dose, 8.7% have ever taken it have taken more than recommended dose, while 7.8% do not know. I also added a question, which OTC medication did they have ever taken more than recommended dose? It was Panadol. In this figure, um, shows a percentages of responded, respondents reported to sources of information. 84.5% was from family members with the least was social media, 15.8%. 
discussion, the knowledge was significantly different in terms of academic degree and the course of study in the use of OTC. In this study, we found that students in a health science related course is significantly more likely to have better knowledge than those from a non-health science related course. This finding is similar with that of another study in Northwest Ethiopia, where 64.6% .6 of health science students had a good knowledge towards self-medication with OTC. The higher the education level, the more familiar with the clinical practice and medications, which eventually affect the knowledge of OTC use. We found no significant difference between the demographic data characteristic and the attitude. Nevertheless, this study showed that very few exposed to unverified sources of health information on social media, which was unexpectedly very low. But the internet was the second majority of the students exposed to the health information as predicted. However, the pharmacist plays a vital role in safeguarding the consumers from potential inappropriate. The risky practice of some medication with OTC is considered as taking more than recommended dose, failing to check the expiry date, and rarely read the labels. In this study, few of the respondents have taken the OTC medicine Panadol more than recommended dose. The reasons were not effective, the body has adapted to it, and aware of the dosage. In conclusion, only a few respondents have inappropriate practices. Awareness of the proper use of OTC among young adults is necessary to prevent the rise of risky habits in OTC use. These are the references that are used for this presentation. And that is all from me. Thank you. Thank you very much.